the crew of Apollo 13. Uh, Houston, uh, we seem to have a problem. We seem to be on a RV resort. Can't bear. Hey there, visionaries. I'm Brian. And I'm Michelle. And welcome to Living Our Vision. We're heading down to the Houston Space Center today. Before we get started, if you haven't already, please subscribe down below and click that little bell. We'd really appreciate it. Wait a minute. Greetings, Earthlings. Well, that's something you don't see every day. No. Well, now, maybe in certain parts of the world. Now let's go to something that we've never seen. like a kid? Uh-huh, I do. How about we go over to guest services and find out where we start? Yes. All right. That's a good idea. And all the trams, from down there on the right, you'll see a big tram door sign when you get down there. Okay. okay. I knew we should have brought Vinny with us. <laughs> Vinny? Yeah, you need to use the bathroom. Oh, right. Vinny comes in handy when you need to use the bathroom. Yes. All right, where are we going first? The bathroom. I thought she was going to have a meltdown. She could not find the bathrooms. So, if you have somebody in your group who's about to have a meltdown because they're looking for the bathrooms, just go to the food area. And there's two tram tours. So there's one, I think she called it the Apollo Mission Control Tour. That one you have to actually go to a little uh, kiosk thingy and get a ticket. And those actually do sell out. The other tour is a also some kind of mission control and it's first come first serve. After you get your little ticket for the Apollo one, then you can go do uh, the other tour first since it's first come first serve. The screen on the left over here is a live camera view of the current space station. She said that the sunrise is about to come in. It's, the screen is dark because it's nighttime. But as you can see as we're standing here, there's a picture starting to come in. Look at that already. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
this one is actually she said they enter 16 sunsets and sunrises per day getting ready to set up the galaxy of lights What do you think of this? That's big. What NASA does is just astounding. Going straight down, like that. He comes in on a wide slope. He's on the brakes, literally, he just hovered. And he looked around. That's why this hovering engine is so important. He looked around, said, I'm going to land over there instead. He used his thrusters and went over and landed safely. With only 17 seconds left of fuel. He gave everybody a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> When you get up close and you take a look at everything involved in these rockets, every bit of the engineering that was involved, you really appreciate what it took to make these. There is so much engineering involved. get in that suit where'd you find come on come down from there where oh there you are i thought that was you in the suit up there no now we are going on the apollo mission control tour That's pretty cool. I was very good. Like you were there at that time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now our Orion Mission Control Tour. I'll go for a coffee. Anything warm, I don't care. Houston's supposed to be hot and humid. It's actually not that cold, but it's just chilly enough to make you well, and when you're in chilly. Yeah, a red or white.
We're in the flight deck of the Shuttle Independence. And this is the cargo bay. And the flight deck. That wing is humongous. Ooh, you can see like writing on this. Thought she had something for us. That it was going to land like a sling. <laughs> and then it fell. <laughs> it's one of the strangest sights in all of aviation's remarkable partnership of an airplane and an orbit. Name was John Piper. There's those rocket things. Problem. What I is can't it? Get out. <laughs> it makes music. <laughs> Why do you have a creepy look on your face? I'm shocked at what I just saw. <laughs> Good separation of the CF 
them from the upper stage. Heat shield looks good. Performing attitude control. Setting up for entry interface. Bank control now. <laughs> Of course, we had to stop and get our sweet and beautiful little granddaughter a couple things from the gift shop. Well, <laughs> came in 11.30, we're leaving at 5.30. We literally went into space and back. Yeah. Because huh? it took us so long. We traveled in space and back. Oh, I see, get it. See what I did there?